Hi, and welcome to another lesson in our series of SOLIDWORKS training tutorials. In this lesson, we'll take a look at loft and boundary features. So let's get into it. The loft and boundary features are very much alike, with a few exceptions. To help understand each, we'll create a model of a defrost event. This will help you recognize the differences and assist in deciding which tool to use in different modeling situations. We we'll begin by using the loft feature to generate the model. Loft features are defined by multiple cross-sectional profiles. For best results, profiles should be made up of the same number of entities and selected from the graphics area near corresponding points. And I'll just demonstrate that now. So we have the defrost event part open. So if I just spin around so you can see each of the sections and if I go to lofted boss base and if I select as I say at the same points so if I select that point and similarly in the region the not, not going over to there coming to the same area this point and this point and you see we get that profile lofted profile going on now this is a thin feature, so if I move down here and select thin feature, and I'll just change this dimension, make it a little bit beefier. So 0.9, it's 0 0.09 of an inch. And then if I click OK on that, so we get our little lofted component. As I said, when lofting and as with boundary, you should give special consideration to the way you sketch the profiles. So I've created a couple of little sketches here. I'll open them up. So if you look at this, if I show you this sketch here, so this is just a little semicircle. So it's created of two, so an arc and a line. And then this one is a center rectangle. So if I try to do a loft on that and select my profile. So even if I select that point and that point, you can see it gets that twisted. So it tries to put the same number of components in the two, or the same number of sections, if you like, in the two sketches, which kind of gives me that twisted look. If I go across to, let's cancel that. I'll just jump across to the part where I've divided this into four sections. So you can see I've divided this one up. So if I do a lofted boss base in this one, and again, if I pick in the correct spots, we get a much better and a much better blend on our loft. So hopefully you can see. So as I say, if you can try and kind of break them up as best you can into the same number of, of regions, if you like. We'll just pop out of that and we go back to our vent. So next I'm going to turn on the curvature so if I go across to evaluate and turn on curvature we get that little which shows us that it's fairly smooth it's not too bad a few areas it's a it's a little bit out on but if we have a little look and if I go back into that lofted part and if you look at merge tangent faces down here in options if I uncheck that and click OK on that. You see it's kind of broken up more. So it's it's kind of given sort of definite edges between each of the faces, each of the surfaces, if you like, on that. So you can see it's uh, give me a, it's not giving me as smooth a finish as that. So I kind of recommend that you make sure you've got merged tangent faces selected so we get that much smoother appearance. I'll just do that one more time. You can see you get those edges and it's not just as smooth as it is if you've got merged tangent faces turned on. So we'll just leave it with that turned on. Okay, just to finish this part off and make it even a little bit better. So you can see if I just go on sideways on that so you can see as that comes out, it's kind of coming very direct to that. So if you want to kind of create a little bit of a smoother blend round, so just kind of 
curve it out a little bit there. So you see it's kind of coming very straight there. What we can do with that is if we right click and I edit the feature one more time and I come into start end constraints. So the start constraint and end constraint is default. So if I keep that on the side, you should see this fairly quickly when I click OK on this. So instead of using the default, we can have a look at normal to profile. So you see it kind of smooths out a little bit more and you can you can just physically pull that out a little bit if you, if you wish. Don't go too far or just it'll error out on you. It'll bulge it out too much. I'm going to leave it at one. So you can type in a figure as well. So you can just, and really it's kind of like, it's really kind of preference on on your behalf. Um, you know, what you, it's a very subjective kind of thing. So if we go down with the profile on the top as well, so you can see it gives us a much better finish on that, even just by clicking the sort of default sizes. But you can, as I say, you can, can tweak them out if you're just not happy. You can make it longer or shorter. So you can kind of just, or you can just adjust the values in there on that. But it gives a much kind of smoother curve round on that and a much better blend on that. So if I click OK on that, so you can see it gives us a much better curve and less sort of direct. The other way was a bit sort of severe and sharp, kind of going to the other. Uh, sketch so gives us a little bit of a better finish on the part completely okay so I'll just save this and I'll save this as loft and I'll do a save as so I'll save copy and open and I'll call this one boundary So we got this one open as boundary and I'm going to delete that loft feature. So we're back to our standard sketch there. So let's have a look at creating a boundary boss base with this same sketch. So you can see it's very similar in, in its appearance in the property. And we're going to do select the same points on that. And see, instead of those, these little boxes come up on the part instead of coming up over on the properties. So we can add in our normal to profile in here at this stage. So we get a fairly similar kind of curve on it, slightly different on that. And you can have various kind of shapes if you feel you need to kind of pull it in in certain sections. So you see the way it kind of sweeps out there. You could add in further sketches if you wanted to create more control of it. You're not limited to this, these three or two sketches. You know, you can put in any number of sketches as you see fit on that to create a, as a smoother curve. As I said, it's very subjective this um, on on what you what you kind of feel looks looks right. So if I just put in zero nine there just for a thin feature on that again and I click OK on that. So we get our little component created there using a boundary bar space. We'll have a look at them side to side so I'll just click that to the right and come along and I'll show that one on the left. So I've got my loft and my boundary and if I just spin them around just so you can see so they're very similar. There is a slight kind of very variation in them so you can kind of see that and if I just do the evaluate for the curvature just to show you the curvature in both of them so you can see the slight difference in that better when I show the curvature on that so you can see the slight it's much smoother there on that but then down here it's better so that's our loft and our our boundary parts completed using the same component and um, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and um, i'd really appreciate it thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video